she has been condemned to death by hanging a man may escape this death by becoming the hangman a woman by marrying the hangman but at the present time there is no hangman thus there is no escape there is only a death indefinitely postponed this is not fantasy it is history to live in prison is to live without mirrors to live without mirrors is to live without the self she is living selflessly she finds a hole in the stone wall and on the other side of the wall a voice the voice comes through darkness and has no face this voice becomes her mirror in order to avoid her death a particular death with wrung neck and swollen tongue she must marry the hangman but there is no hangman first she must create him she must persuade this man at the end of the voice this voice she has never seen and which has never seen her this darkness she must persuade him to renounce his face exchange it for the impersonal mask of death of official death which has eyes but no mouth this mask of a dark leper she must transform his hands so they will be willing to twist the rope round throats that have been singled out as hers was throats other than hers she must marry the hangman or no one but that is not so bad who else is there to marry you wonder about her crime she was condemned to death for stealing clothes from her employer from the wife of her employer she wished to make herself more beautiful this desire in servants was not legal she uses her voice like a hand her voice reaches through the wall stroking and touching what could she possibly have said that would have convinced him he was not condemned to death freedom awaited him what was the temptation the one that worked perhaps he wanted to live with a woman whose life he had saved who had seen down into the earth but had nevertheless followed him back up to life it was his only chance to be a hero to one person at least for if he became the hangman the others would despise him he was in prison for wounding another man on one finger of the right hand with a sword this too is history my friends who are both women tell me their stories which cannot be believed and which are true they are horror stories and they have not happened to me they have not yet happened to me they have happened to me but we are detached we watch our unbelief with horror such things cannot happen to us it is afternoon and these things do not happen in the afternoon the trouble was she said i didn't have the time to put my glasses on and without them i'm blind as a bat i couldn't even see who it was these things happen and we sit at a table and tell stories about them so we can finally believe this is not fantasy it is history there is more than one hangman and because of this some of them are unemployed he said the end of walls the end of ropes the opening of doors a field the wind a house the sun a table an apple she said nipple arms lips wine belly hair bread thighs eyes eyes they both 
kept their promises. The hangman is not such a bad fellow. Afterwards, he goes to the refrigerator and cleans up the leftovers, though he does not wipe up what he accidentally spills. He wants only the simple things, a chair, someone to pull off his shoes, someone to watch him while he talks with admiration and fear, gratitude if possible. Someone in whom to plunge himself for rest and renewal. These things can best be had by marrying a woman who has been condemned to death by other men for wishing to be beautiful. There is a wide choice. Everyone said he was a fool. Everyone said she was a clever woman. They used the word in snare. What did they say the first time they were alone together in the same room? What did he say when she had removed her veil and he could see that she was not a voice? but a body, and therefore finite. What did she say when she discovered that she had left one locked room for another? They talked of love, naturally, though that did not keep them busy forever. The fact is, there are no stories I can tell my friends that will make them feel better. History cannot be erased, although we can soothe ourselves by speculating about it. At that time, there were no female hangmen. Perhaps there have never been any, and thus no man could save his life by marriage, though a woman could, according to the law. He said, foot, boot, order, city. Feast, roads, time, knife. She said, water, night, willow, rope hair, earth belly, cave, meat, shroud, open, blood. They both kept their promises.